Hi, my name is Don Cheng and welcome to this Open Tunes tutorial series. In this part, we will be doing Scan and Trace. We now need to scan our drawings into the computer. We will be using the software GTS, the scanning software developed for use by Studio Ghibli. If you don't have it, you can find a download link for it on the Open Tunes website. Note that the built-in scanning modules in OpenTunes are also very powerful, and it really comes down to preference over which one you use. First, let's connect the scanner to the computer. GTS works well with Epson scanners. If you find that your scanner does not work with GTS, you can still scan the drawings in separately and then import them later to trace. In order to keep the drawings registered and in the same place when we scan, I have attached a peg bar to the top of the scanner on which we will attach the drawings. Now, let's open up GTS. First, we have to set up the software. Go to Windows and enable the first four options. Make sure that the pixel type is set on RGB. And for this project, I will be scanning at a resolution of 144 dpi. In your own productions, feel free to increase this number. In Scan Save, I will untick Trace and select the folder for the scans to be saved in. I recommend saving the scans in the Inputs folder of the project directory. I will be scanning in my field guide first, so I will give the file the name of 12 field field guide. I will change the file type to TIFF, but TGAs will work as well. I will leave the numbering as it is and hit Set Number. Now click Scan Crop. This will allow us to preview the whole scan area and adjust it accordingly. I have scanned in the field guide first because it tells us what the camera sees and we can crop based on that information. To resize the scan area, left click and drag on the control points. I will crop the drawing in a way that leaves a bit of a bleed outside my field guide. Now I will click preview scan to confirm that the scan area is correct. Now we can hit scan save which will scan and save our drawings onto our computer. Once the field guide is scanned in, exit out of the scan dialog. Now I will prepare the next drawings to be scanned, which are our cleaned up animation drawings. Back in OpenTunes, I will change the file name to A, as these drawings are in the A column of the exposure sheet of the animation. I will leave everything else the same and hit set number. Then hit scan save. On the bottom left, in the numbers window, an S will appear next to the drawing number to indicate that it has been saved. Now put the next drawing into the scanner and then hit next or enter to continue scanning. Do this until all drawings have been scanned and saved. Now that all our drawings have been scanned, next is to trace them in preparation for cell painting. This process is also known as inking. Close everything except for our number display. Then, under Window, open Trace Files and Trace Thickness. Make sure to select the colors that are to be traced, which in our case are red, black, and blue. In the Trace Files menu, under Open, select the files that we just scanned. You only need to select the first file in the sequence and the software will load them all automatically. If you did not scan your drawings in via GTS, you can still load them via this method. Under Filter, select Erase.Noise. Then select the folder for our traced drawings to be saved in. I recommend saving them in the Drawings folder of our project. Again, I will give it a name of A and use the TIFF file format. Hit Set Number, then go to View, Color Trace, Target Image. Now we can see what our trace output will look like. In the Trace Thickness window, we can adjust the thickness of the different colored lines. Adjust the line thickness to your liking, but note that gaps in between lines will have to be fixed later on. Once everything is set, hit Trace Files and the software will process our drawings. Our job in GTS is now done. Next, we will move back to OpenTunes to do cell painting. 